everyone! Man, you've been learning a lot lately. My name is Merle, and today I'm going to tell you a story from the Book of Numbers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, that's not quite right. Oh, the Book of Numbers from the Bible! Ah, that makes more sense. Remember how that ginger kid named Josh told you about the story of Adam and Eve in the first book of the Bible? They disobeyed God's law, and because of that, God had to kick them out of the Garden of Eden. Breaking God's law is called sin, which is not to be confused with your social insurance number. Well, God decided to choose one person named Abraham and his descendants to be his people. But after a long time, they ended up as slaves in Egypt. Not fun. Thankfully, God was faithful to his people, and he led his people out of Egypt. The people were not happy, traveling around in the desert, so they complained a lot. Have you ever complained? Well, these people were complaining even though God was literally feeding them the equivalent of Captain Crunch cereal from heaven. The people were so annoyed at their predicament that they wanted to go back to Egypt and be slaves again. That's cray cray if you ask me. God heard his people complaining and sent snakes to bite them. The people were in a lot of pain and asked their leader Moses to pray to God and make it stop. So Moses prayed. God told Moses to make a fiery serpent out of metal and put it on a tall pole. That way, if anyone got bit by one of the snakes, they could look at the pole and get healed. A long time after this, a man named Jesus appeared. Jesus told a guy named Nicodemus that just as Moses lifted up that fiery snake on the pole, Jesus himself would have to be lifted up like that so people could be healed and have eternal life. Just like the people in our story from Numbers, they had to look at the snake to be healed of the bites. But Jesus tells us we need to believe in his death on the cross to be healed of our sin. See you guys! Have a good week!